really look forward uh, to uh, having people working here to see uh, whether uh, all our ideas and all our ambitions, uh, whether that can be uh, realized uh, and that the building can help to improve the conditions that we give uh, our uh, scientists working here. This building has been called the most intelligent building in Denmark. It's set with a smile. It's because the building is very advanced. There's a lot of technical equipment. We have very advanced facilities for animal experiments, for class 1 and class 2 gene technology uh, laboratories. Uh, so approximately 40% of the volume of the building is uh, consisting of technical equipment. In the SCO building there will be conducted several types of research. Research uh, spanning from inflammation to what's going on in the brain, uh, nerve research. Uh, there will be genomics uh, and genetics. There will be people working in cell biology and people working with membranes. The same field as uh, the field where Skov, he was working. Uh, yes, Christian Skov uh, received the Nobel Prize for fantastic work in uh, basic research. And he, he inspired a lot of uh, scientists that are working today uh, with, uh, with uh, for instance, proteins that are uh, around in the cells and how transport mechanisms uh, occur. So uh, Professor Skov has had a remarkable influence on the, on the science that is going on here at the Department of Biomedicine today. We really hope that the building will uh, help to increase the quality of our research in the way that we hope that people will, will be uh, comfortable working in such uh, pleasant surroundings. We hope that uh, it will stimulate the creativity and stimulate co collaboration between scientists in different fields.